now that we know how to create next app from scratch in this one we'll be taking a look at how to create a component and using it we'll also be exploring some of the basic stuff that next provides one of which is dynamic loading so first thing that we need to do is in order to create a new component let's go inside the pages directory and create a new file let's call it as home.js and inside this we will be importing react so we'll say import react and some of the components so we'll say component from react once that's done the next thing that we'll be doing is we'll be creating a class home and this is going to extend component this is going to contain a render method and the render method will basically return a div so let's return a div now and inside this div we will be having some content like welcome to home page save this and finally and finally export this so we'll say export default home save it now so that's pretty much it we have created the basic component and now we need to include this in our index.js file so in our index.js file what we'll do is the first thing we'll be going here we'll say import again react from and this time also it's going to come from react only now the other thing that we need to do is import the component that we just created so we'll say import home from and as we know it's inside the same directory so we can say home and we don't have to specify the extension just the name of the file home now once that's done we can have our const app defined and uh, this is going to be containing our component so this is how we'll be using our created component so here we'll be saying home and uh, we can just remove this default stuff that we had and we can say default and then the name of the app so here is the app save this and this is one way of uh, including a component and let's go ahead and run it and see it in action now but before this we need to build it npm run build now once it's built let's go ahead and run it so we'll say npm start and just press the control key and click on the link and there we have our home page message welcome to home page now let's go ahead and try loading this using the dynamic loading feature that next provides so here what we'll do is we'll just remove this import statement what we'll do is we'll be importing dynamic from next so we'll have the next slash dynamic and once we have this import the next thing that we will do is we'll create a constant let's call it as home is equal to dynamic and here we'll be importing the components so you can see that importing is being done dynamically so the same import statement that we were writing on top now is being called using the dynamic feature so once we have this we have a callback and inside this we can give it a message like loading and this is going to show that message in the meantime the component is being imported so we can just say div loading content and that's pretty much it now you can see you are not making any changes to the const app feature here we are calling home but home is now being referring to this constant not this import statement that we were having earlier so now it is going to load it dynamically let's save this now and build our application again so we'll go to terminal and we already have one opened so we'll close this one and here only we'll be running our build now and once it's built let's just start it now so npm start and let's open up the window now and let's try reloading this so you can see it's loading very quickly and you don't see the loading message appearing it's just because it's all being served statically and there's no server-side rendering happening or business logic being executed and that is the reason why 
you don't see it but you do see that this technique also works and the content is being retrieved from the home component and is being rendered over here on the index.js file so that was creating a component using it and exploring the dynamic import feature that next js provides